hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back if you are new to my channel and my space for the very first time hi my name is becca i'm an immigrant nurse originally from ghana in west africa i practice i live and i work in united kingdom as i registered this on this channel basically i talk about nursing i do lifestyle videos vlogs a little bit of me fun and positive vibes here and there so somebody tagged me on a tiktok video if you don't know i'm on tiktok i've been on tiktok for um less than a year and my TikTok has grown so much. I love it there. So I'm mostly on there. So if somebody tagged me on my TikTok, um, that was yesterday, about a video that has been going around, circulating around, about one of our own, okay? So if I say one of our own, one of our own overseas nurses who is in UK, who has been deported together with a husband. <laughs> and the whole story... There is a lot to learn from it and that is why i'm sharing it here and i'll tell the story at the end of it i'll give my two cent advice and as we always do on this community if you've also got a beautiful advice respectfully put them in the comment section so this lady um i'm starting the story now so this lady who is a registered nurse from overseas um came into the uk i'm not going to mention whichever country she's coming from she came into the uk with a husband and they started life apparently nobody knows what has gone on backstage with their marital life or whatever is happening but according to the lady the husband was physically abusive so it means he was you know being physical towards her and it got to a point she couldn't take it anymore so she reported the issue to the police and um the police did whatever they had to do in the process she was like you know what I'm so done with you. I can't live with you anymore. This is becoming too much. And if you guys can remember last year, somewhere along the uh, end of last year, I shared a video where an overseas nurse was killed by the husband. And I mean, these things are becoming very common. People are not happy in their homes. Anyway, so this lady was not happy and she felt like, you know what? This is the height of it. I can't take it anymore. Um, in as much as the police has intervened, I do not want you in the UK anymore. So she reported to home office. And in that video I did talking about the lady who was killed by the husband, I shared how to report somebody to home office. And I'll share it again. If you want to report somebody to home office, being it a spouse, whatever, whatever, you don't want the person anymore. Under your visa, you can just take the person's name, their date of birth, their address, and I think their, post, their passport number and just send these details, email it to um, home office and they're going to remove that person immediately. So that's what this lady did. She, she immediately, you know, sent the document and the details of the guy to home office and home office sends the guy a deportation letter to leave the UK. It's not everybody that will take it. He should lose. He should fail. Probably, you never know, maybe he has invested in the girl. He has supported the girl to come to the UK. Who knows? Maybe he paid for the girl's IELTS exams or like he supported a girl to financially get to the uk and now you want him to go it's not gonna happen oh boy said i'm not gonna have it so i'm also going to expose you so apparently it is alleged that the lady also came into the uk with fake ielts results so her results ielts results was faked it was fabricated it was not true I don't know whether she took the exams and faked the results or she didn't take the exams at all and got somebody's result to fake it. A lot of things are happening in this community. People are not genuine. And I always tell people that travel right, do the right thing for peace of mind because whatever you do will come out one day and it's going to expose you. So at least not in a country like UK, you'll be exposed one day. So the guy out of revenge and out of the pain that he's going to be deported alone said i'm going to go down yes but i'll not go down alone we are going to go down together so he phoned nmc and told nmc that so so and so and so and so is a registered nurse working in kkkkk she came to the uk at this and that time the ielts result that she brought to register you i mean to register with you guys as an overseas nurse is fake the result is fake <laughs> and for those of my viewers who do not know if you want to be a registered nurse in the uk you have to write a series of exams to get your license to practice and one of them or the first of it is the english language competence you have to demonstrate that you are effective or efficient in communicating in the english language so you do what we call the ielts or the oet which is a big hurdle a lot of people find it difficult um to write and Personally, as a test taker who have written IELTS, IDP, IELTS British Council and OET, I can attest to the fact that this exam needs a lot of preparation and grace to pass. 
so i think this girl couldn't go through that waiting period or that patience to go through the motion she went elsewhere to seek an alternative result and the guy knew about it so the guy reported to nmc of uk nmc of uk started to conduct an investigation and if nmc uk is conducting an investigation trust me it is rigorous currently three nurses have died as at um i heard this news on the 6th of march 6th of march yes three nurses committed suicide in the uk because they were under investigation and they couldn't take it they committed suicide in the uk on the 6th of march so the guy reported this lady nmc started their investigation i think she didn't even know she was being investigated and that is one thing about the uk you can be investigated and you wouldn't know that you're under investigation so they started their investigation process and they got to know that yes indeed what the guy was saying is true she has also faked her IELTS results and immediately she was taken off of the register and what does that mean? It means that you don't have any sponsor because the only reason why you are in the UK is because you've got a license to practice and that is why you're, the employer or your employer is investing in you to bring you on board to sponsor you to work. So once you lose that license to practice, that is it. You don't have any alternative to live in the UK unless you, leave, you look for another job which is not nursing related because you can't practice anymore as a nurse unless you start looking for carer job or you start looking for another skilled worker job and you don't have that time to do that bear in mind that we are in an era where cos is very difficult to get so long story short nmc just escalated it and then home office served the lady also a deportation letter that she has to leave the uk so now husband and wife are back in the their home country wherever they came from the story they didn't say whether they've got kids or not but if they got kids it means you can you have to go with your kids because obviously the kids cannot stay here and they can't continue their life so you have ruined the life of your your descendants basically because the reason why most of us come here is to advance our career to make money to support our our vision that we have in life basically you've got, you've got a lot of vision that you need finances to fuel and this is an opportunity this is a place where you get i mean the finances the lifestyle to fuel that agenda so now you have ruined it for not only for yourself but for your kids because for somebody like me i would say with all boldness that i travel because of my kids to make their life stable so that the stresses that i went through to get to the point that i am in life they wouldn't have to go through those stresses and i know that there are a lot of parents like myself who do this for their kids not for themselves so now you have ruined the life of your kids my two cents advice a lot of people come from overseas and married they do not do what we call adjustments before they travel the couples are living like enemies you are not working towards a common goal this one is going direction of east and the other one is going west there is no focus everybody have their own individual dream and they are not able to integrate that dream to become one they are not able to sit together to say this is us we are traveling this is our common goal come to a common agreement and to stand as a couple and this thing is ruining a lot of marriages some people say that marriages come and end abroad because of because the marriage is abroad let me tell you the foundation was already weak that marriage had no foundation already the marriage was already shaking it didn't have a foundation but you didn't take your time to address it so both of you do not have a common goal before you came into the uk if you realize that that partner he or she is going to be a pain on your backside do not take them abroad it's that simple period it's going to ruin everything for you is it that it's going to breed abuse it's going to breed slavery it's going to breed torture it's going to breed unhappiness and let me tell you something if you are not mentally stable at home as a nurse it's going to be difficult for you to be an effectiveness because this environment that we are in is fast-paced everything is sharp you need sound mind to concentrate on that job that you are doing otherwise you will lose your pain so if that spouse is not going to give you that peace of mind that you need to do that job that you came here to do they are better off being where they are being it a man or a woman they are better off being in that your home country there so that you come and have peace of mind to do your job second thing why should you fix something like IELTS, it is doable. 
And now we have a lot of alternatives, right? IELTS, NMC has introduced the clubbing, where you can club two results over a span of 12 months. If you've got, um, I mean, uh, 6.5, and above within a span of 12 months you can clap your results you've got oet although it is expensive you can write that's what i wrote after writing ielts twice i said you know what i am done let me go and write oet i studied comprehensively i've shared it here how i did it so now we've got alternative it's not like first that there was no alternative it was only OE, uh, ielts and you needed to get about seven 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 in all modules now there are lots of things that has been introduced now there is ielts from home now you can write the computerized one, you can write, you can do, um, you can retake one module. If it is a computer base, you can retake it. You can write it from your comfort. Like there are lots of changes that are, is happening with this test system. And all of these changes is because overseas, we need you. I mean, employers abroad need intellectuals, people that are good. And I always say that English language is not the measure of somebody being professionally good. It is just a test. So somebody can be professionally good, but they don't have that English proficiency. That doesn't mean they are bad nurses or bad doctors. It's just that language, communication, that is a barrier. But it's not a hurdle that you cannot cross. You can do it. It is doable. If somebody has done it, you can do it as well. Okay? So don't fake anything because it will catch up with you. No matter how long it takes, it will get to a time where you're going to be exposed one way or the other. So now husband and wife has been, both been deported. Let's just pick a page from these people's book. If you've got any suggestions, any input or anything, put them in the comment section and let other people also learn from us. With this being said, I'll bring this video onto an end and see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.